my name is Jill Barkley. I am 29 years old and I live in beautiful Portland, Maine. Uh, my life today looks very different than I would have ever imagined it to look. I um, have a job that I love advocating for victims of domestic violence and their children in our state capital, which is Augusta. I'm running for a state office, which is very exciting. And I went to grad school, finished grad school last year, and through that process, I met the love of my life, a woman named Diane, who lives here with me in Portland, Maine. And she is definitely the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Last year, we bought a condo together that we love um, living in. We plan to get married here in Maine next fall, and we want to raise our family here eventually in this great city. Um, when I was in high school, I went to a private Christian high school, and every day I was bullied by my classmates, um, mostly I think because I was very outspoken and opinionated, which is not a trait that uh, most Christian faiths like to instill in young women, um, but here I am. And I was called a dyke a lot, um, and I was questioned often by the administration and teachers and my peers at school about whether or not I was homosexual. And the reason I was questioned about that was because if I actually admitted to feeling that way, which I did feel that way, I would have been kicked out of school because that is the code of ethics at that school. It's, it's in the code of conduct. I would have been kicked out for being gay. And unfortunately, that is still the truth today in 2010. So I thought that I could never be open about who I was and be successful and happy and loved and accepted. And things looked pretty bleak for a while for me, but it got better. Um, I went to college, I grew up, and today I'm happy to report that I have all of those things. I am loved and accepted by my family, even if it took them a little while to get there. They do love and accept me today and they love and accept my partner, Diane. Um, I have a job, a career that I love, um, I have a lot of friends, and I found a church that was open and affirming. Today I attend an American Baptist church right here in Portland, and the pastor of that church has invited my partner and I to get married um, in their sanctuary next fall, which is something I would have never imagined happening back then. So I want to tell you that even when things are hard, you should really stick around because things get better, you make them better, and the people in your life make them better, and it can be bigger and more beautiful than you could ever imagine.